Hello everybody. In this video, we'll be performing a role play where the patient visits the community health center with complaints of yellow and brittle nails. I am Neema and I will be performing the role of a nurse. I'm Sandra and I'll be performing the role of patient. Well, Sandra, thank you for letting me examine you. And from my examination, I have confirmed that your fingernails are yellow and brittle. And uh, I would like to know more details about this uh, situation. When did this start, actually? Uh, actually, nurse, it has started a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had any previous occurrences of the same? No, uh, it is the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, could you please explain more about it? Like, uh, have you had any injury to your nails? No, nurse. Well, Sandra, thank you for answering my questions. Now, do you experience pain? No, it's not painful for me. Did you try any treatment methods? Yes, nurse, I tried over-the-counter nail creams, but it was not helpful for me. Oh, don't worry, Sandra. Actually, we will recommend you the exact treatment methods in order to improve your condition. Anyways, the information you provided was really helpful to understand your condition. Now, I would like to explore about your general health. Like, do you take any long-term medications? No, I don't have any long-term medications. Well, it's happy to hear that. Do you experience any symptoms? No, nurse. Well, Sandra, I appreciate your willingness to answer my questions. I have noted all of it. And now I will provide you some information regarding the cause of yellow and brittle nails. Usually, it occurs due to aging, poor diet and fluid intake. At the same time, uh, vitamin deficiency as well as uh, thyroid problems might also be the cause of this condition. And uh, what is the diet pattern that you follow? And do you experience any health issues that I just mentioned now? Nurse, I don't drink much water and I don't like to have vegetables or fruits. But sometimes I take uh, vitamin supplements. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I think this cause might be due to aging as I don't have any thyroid problems. Uh, well, Sandra, from your explanation, I understand that you do not follow a very specific pattern. At the same time, your fluid intake is also very low. But don't be concerned about it. I can assure that if you improve your dietary pattern and increase your fluid intake, it will definitely improve your condition. And your fingernails will also get better. Uh, so, is it clear for you? Yes, it's very clear for me. And uh, will you try to follow these? Yes, nurse. I'm very happy to hear that you are willing to follow my advices. So, can I suggest some more methods to improve your current situation? Yes, nurse, sure. Well, in order to improve your current situation, we can apply nail creams as well as try to keep your nails very short. I also recommend you to have an appointment with the doctor in order to rule your underlying problems and have a regular health check. So, do I need to address anything else? No, nurse, you have clarified me everything. Well, Sandra, I hope I have clarified all your doubts. If you have further concerns, you can definitely contact me and your cooperation is highly appreciable. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you. That was an interesting session, isn't it, Sandra? Of course it was. Yes. The feedback session will be provided very soon. Thank you for watching it. Hello and welcome to another feedback session where we are going to learn on how easily we can tackle each and every task in this roleplay. Now let's once again try to understand the scenario in this roleplay. So this roleplay, you are going to talk to a 70 year old patient in a community health center. Now this patient's fingernails have become yellow and brittle. Now what do you mean by brittle? It means his nails can easily break. They have also given few details here. Your job in this role play is basically to explain possible causes and advise on self-care. 
they have also mentioned that you have just examined his or her nails, which means you don't have to start from the introduction in this rubric. Okay, so you should also show your examiner that you have understood this part and you should start the role play in such a manner. So let's go to the first task and see on how to start this role play. Okay, so the first task is asking us to find out relevant details. So basically we have to find out the onset of the situation, any previous occurrence. We have to get details of any injury to his nails and any pain or treatment right. Now we also know that we have already examined the patient and we have to show the examiner that we have understood that part and we should also show our appreciation towards our patient. So how can we do this task? Well, you can start like this. Thank you for allowing me to examine you. Well, when I examined you, I could see that your fingernails have become yellow and brittle. Now I want to get few details about it. Will that be fine? First of all, I want to know, when did you first see such a thing? After you get the answer to this, you go to the next question. Have you had any such previous occurrence? And I also want to know whether you have injured your nail recently. Once you get the answer for this, then you move to the next question. That is, what about your pain? Is there any pain in your nails? And have you tried any treatment? For this this is how you do the first task so the second task is asking you to ask further information about the patient so you have to ask questions about his general health his medications and any other symptoms so let's do it well to get a better understanding about your situation I have to ask you few more questions I really want to know about your general health can you tell me were there any changes in your health recently? And about your medications. Can you tell me, have you started any new medications? And are you on any long-term medications? Well, I also want to know about any other symptoms that you are experiencing. So other than this nail issue, is there anything else you want to tell me? This is how you do this task. So the third task is asking you to give possible causes of yellow brittle nails. And in the brackets they given the causes like aging, poor diet, fluid intake, vitamin deficiency and underlining thyroid problem. In the same task, they are also asking you to explore relevance of these to the patient. Now, we know that this task is basically an explain explore combo task. Okay, so before you do this task, you should also make sure that you show proper appreciation to your patient. Why? Because we know that in previous tasks, you were asking a lot of questions to your patient and it's now the time to thank him. So let's start by thanking the patient for his cooperation. So let's do it. Thank you for answering all my questions. Have all the information I need. Now, let me try to explain what might be the possible causes of your yellow brittle nails? The first reason can be aging. It's very common in elderly people. Another reason can be lack of nutrients in your diet. And together with it, low intake of fluids can also be another cause of this problem. Now, vitamin deficiency and underlining thyroid problem are also other causes for yellow brittle nails. I would like to ask you, have you found any of these in your situation? So this is how you do this task. So the fourth task is asking you to explain that diet or fluid intake is likely cause of nail problems. The same task is asking you to stress the need to make dietary changes and in bracket they have mentioned increased fluid intake or balanced diet. Okay, so you have to talk both about increased fluid intake and balanced diet here. Now, in this task, before you do this task, especially in the three minutes preparation time, you can guess that the answer to uh, the question, what has been asked in the third task, can be that the patient is not following a proper dietary pattern. And that is why we're explaining about that stuff further. 
So let's do this task. Well, you are right. Inadequate fluids and diet can be possible cause of nail problems. Now, let me tell you, it is very really important that you make some modifications in your dietary habit. What I mean to say is that it is very really important to have a balanced diet for your optimum health. It's also important that you make sure that you take adequate fluids so that you won't have such problems further. Are you able to follow me? Now to your final task. Make suggestions for improving condition of nails in the bracket they have given. Regular use of nail cream, keeping nails short. They have also asked us to recommend making doctor's appointment, health check, rule out any underlining problems or causes. Now, basically in this task, you have to make two suggestions, one about self-care and another about further appointments. So let's do it. Well, I would like to give you a few suggestions to improve your nail health. First of all, I want to tell you that it is better for you to use a nail cream on a regular basis. And it's also good to keep your nails short. This is going to improve your nails health. Okay. And I would like to make one more recommendation. That is to make doctor's appointment on a periodic basis. This is because it's very important to find out if there is any other underlying problems or causes for this condition. So that's the end of this role play and its feedback. As always, Remember to practice using the structures and sentences used in both the role play and the feedback session. I'm sure it is going to help you. With that, thank you.